This is the final episode, Current Limitations, in this rough and ready quick cast series on making the iPad an affordable, interactive whiteboard. This screencast will probably not cover all of the limitations any given deployment may present, but should give you an idea of things you might encounter. Certainly, you'll want to test this in your given situation, and at the time you're watching this, the software and hardware may well have improved significantly. Let's get started. The iPad and the computer have to be on the same Wi-Fi network, or this, this will not work. So if your IT department will not allow um, an iPad to connect um, to the same network, if it's a shared network between multiple users, um, this really could become problematic. Um, but in my situation, I actually set this up so that I'm creating my own network here, which um, I just called TMP and I password protected it. And I connected both the iPad and um, the computer to that. And then Air Display is using that network. Um, that's probably the best solution because then you're not sharing bandwidth with anyone else. So that's something to keep in mind that you'll definitely want to have your iPad and computer on the same network. Um, right now, Ink2Go currently has no desktop keyboard and you're going to need access to a physical keyboard. Occasionally I had a difficult time using my finger to grab the corner of a window to move it. Um, I would always grab near it and change to the wrong window. Um, that's just a personal thing for me. Maybe my fingers are too large or I'm just not accustomed to doing this. But um, a physical keyboard is necessary to input perhaps something like a URL um, into the browser so that you could go to that. Um, when I'm doing application switching, you've noticed uh, this right here was an application switch and I had to use a keyboard to do that. Or when I'm doing this to switch between applications, I'm having to do that with a keyboard. I've shared this concern with uh, Benson, the young man who's one of the software engineers developing Ink2Go. Let him know that using Air Display it can actually become an interactive whiteboard. And I think we're going to see some exciting developments uh, in the near future with the software as he sees the potential of using Air to go in this type of scenario, especially for classroom teachers. Um, the recording feature on high quality, it's recording about, not quite, 15 frames per second. Um, I like mine to be a little bit higher than that. That's a personal thing for me. So I'm using ScreenFlow. You can also use Camtasia to do my screencast that you're watching right now. Um, also, I noticed another limitation is in its current state, unique to go will not record computer audio. So I'm having to use ScreenFlow again to capture the audio of the time lapse that we were watching. Otherwise, it would just be playing the movie file with no sound, and I, I couldn't find a way to make that happen. There may be a way, and I'm just not figuring it out. It does, however, record audio externally through the USB microphone. When I turned on the webcam over there to show you the monkey sitting on my desk, um, the audio was also being recorded through there. And the final limitation, um, again, may be something that I just haven't figured out. The program Ink2Go has a presentation mode, which I guess allows me to show you this keynote presentation, this PowerPoint type presentation. However, I can't write on this and I cannot um, even see this presentation slide on my iPad. So maybe I don't quite understand exactly how presentation mode is supposed to work, but I'm not able to get that functionality, um, which is a bit of a limitation, not one that I think makes this impossible to use in a classroom setting at all. So using your iPad as an interactive whiteboard. I think this is pretty cool because it saves the expense of having to purchase an interactive whiteboard and for people like me that travel and present, um, I can't take an interactive whiteboard with me on the plane. 
And so this gives me the ability to just use my iPad as if it were an interactive whiteboard. So I hope I've given you some ideas and perhaps um, this is something that you can find useful. Let me know if you find any keyboard type software that will allow you to type into uh, forms on the screen, uh, type into URLs and, and interact with your display as if you were sitting at a computer keyboard, but doing all of that from the iPad using Air Display. Ink to go, Air Display, the iPad, combined together provide really unique functionality that I think has tremendous potential and will only develop further as we go forward. Thanks for listening.